Hey, this is Linda and Charles. Today we are here with Rob Braun. He is the president and CEO of The Leadership Source. He is also a success coach as well as a corporate trainer. And we'll learn a little bit more about him, but welcome, welcome. That was the formal introduction. Hold on, that was the formal introduction. (laughs) Rob's got a list of things. And Rob, why don't you just share with us, what do you have your hands in? What are you doing right now? You know, I'm actually almost embarrassed because one of the things I'm reading about is if I if I don't have it down to three, I ain't got anything. Um, but what I um, I am uh, I am def- um, moving forward big time with our with our corporate training company, um, which is what which is the leadership source. Okay. The leadership source. Thank you for that. And uh, we're we're filling our calendar up. I'm a I'm a huge Darren Hardy fan. Um, I'm Darren Hardy coach and um, lining up speaking gigs. Um, um, working with local business owners about help them to be able to get a grand start on their businesses for next year. Uh, volunteer work, um, so working in Oak Grove, um, baked 92 pumpkin pies this year. Nice. Uh, for our fundraiser <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Very cool. And, um, and we'll be uh, real involved uh, that you got a chance to participate in last year, Hobie, um, mm. with their, um, with uh, working with the young people, our young leaders out there. And um, my, uh, my second book is being uh, finished editing, uh, Second, Second book. book, yes, um, <laughs> Unreasonable, and um, we're going to get that published this year, and I've got a great guy that I'm working with, and uh, those are some of them, yeah, and it's exciting, and life is full, and um, yeah, not waiting for anything. So Rob's got yeah. his hands just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. but He's really, not busy at all. <laughs> yeah. But it's almost like that's the bane of the entrepreneur, right? Whether you're an entrepreneur in a corporate yeah. setting, or you're an entrepreneur that's you know live in the Soho you know the small office home office life. It just seems that you know like I, I get the whole thing about what's your top three, what's your focus, but at the end of the day, uh, and maybe that's one of my challenges. Uh, you know I do have a focus on my top three, but we've got 10, 15, 20 things going anyway. Yeah. Uh, and that that's what energizes. I mean that's kind of what we live for that's as entrepreneurs. Norm. Anyway. I think it's a norm yeah. for an entrepreneur. Yeah. So my question to you, Rob, is uh, with everything that you're doing. Everything that you're seeing, when you're out there, whether you're in your corporate setting or you're talking to uh, you know the small office, home office entrepreneur, what is it that you see um, is their their biggest challenges? And I say challenges because you know like, I'm sure we can always boil it down to one. But what do you see maybe from a top three or even top five? Yeah, you know uh, the the first thing that jumps out is mindset. Just believing that they can accomplish or do what they're set out to do. You know. Um, I hear regularly, um, you know, we all know how important, uh, like for, for companies, hiring really great employees and, and vetting them properly. So even when, and this is not many companies, even when they actually put the effort and the right energy into attracting the right people, I hear all the time, you know, there's no more A players out there, there's no more A, A employees out there. And I say, are you kidding me? They're out there, they're just waiting for you to be an A company. They're waiting for wow. you to be someone that would attract them. They're out there. They're out there. They're just so. I think one of the one of the biggest challenges is is mindset. Believing that that we can, you know, um, bring in the the best people. And and you've probably heard this one before. Um, and and a employee will pay for themselves. Oh yeah. It'll cost a B. It'll cost you three or four times what a B employee is. And B will attract a lot of C's. But A's will attract only A's. Mm. So getting out of that mindset or that limiting mindset, whether it's small business or large corporations. Um, Thinking small when there's there's so much big to think out there, <laughs> so much big to think. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, and I'm actually looking around Rob's office. We're in Rob's office, and he has you know think big on his wall. He has all these motivational things because I mean he is a motivational speaker. So just seeing all this stuff and hearing him talk, I mean it really it really rings true. Well, I also need my own constant reminders as well because <laughs> in my humanness, my humanness um, when stuff gets tough or when it didn't quite go the way I wanted to or I run into an obstacle, I got to get myself back. And, yeah. and you know, whether it's with these visuals right here or I've got my go-to people, Charles, you've been one of those in my life. So, you know, just that people remind me of what we're going after. And just, and, and um, there's a great, uh, um, um, Hardy talks about recovery time. You know, what, what used to like knock the wind out of me for three weeks, now I don't let it go past three minutes. It happened, big deal, let's go. It'll be a story tomorrow. 